Welcome back, dear viewers. And as we said in the beginning of our show, that we will be talking in our first segment about the tourism sector here in Egypt, how the ongoing events are affecting its recovery. Around 10.5 million tourists visited Egypt in the first 11 months of 2012, which is a 70% increase of the same period in uh, last year. And the tourism minister Hisham Zazua said that tourism generates some 9.4 billion uh, dollars in 2012, which is a slight increase over 9 billion dollars seen in 2011. And to talk to us in details about this issue, we're pleased to be joined with Mr. Wael Sharaf, who is a tourism expert. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning to you. Mr. Wael, recovery, when it comes to recovery of the tourism yes. sector, how do you see it nowadays? First of all, we are the third today of January 2013. I wish a happy, happy new year for uh, the Nile TV co first to all too, the sir. Egyptian people. And I wish that... Uh, happy new year also to the tourism sector <laughs> Hope. <laughs> hopefully and hopefully and uh, i wish that 2013 carry uh, some good news and happiness for the egyptian uh, mm -hmm. people who deserve to to really to live in uh, a stable and uh, stability stable country and uh, stability situation and sure yeah uh, recovery uh, I want first to say about uh, Mr. Zazua, he is really one of the best people. I was very happy when I, hear, uh, I heard that he declared as uh, the Minister, Minister of Tourism. Of tourism. Uh, he is very technical and he is working by his hands. I know him personally and uh, he is uh, a person of technique. He knows what he is doing every day. Uh, but he has to move from technicality to political. I mean that he should uh, work in all sectors of, uh, of the country, not only in tourism, to, to be strong in, uh, in security. I mean, to, to give plan, tactics, and strategy for the security. But before we move on to the political events that affected the yeah. tourism sector, mm -hmm. so far, people, we want to know so far, how is recovery? Because we heard the word recovery several times. Do you have any uh, improvements in number of tourists so far? I think it's fluctuating, sometimes up, sometimes yes. down. Yeah. This basically, these days, how is the situation? We are in the middle of the season, the winter season as well. Okay. I can if see from your face. <laughs> 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 yes. I mean, uh, the, the, the intention, first, of uh, the, the regime in Egypt is showing you how the future should be. Okay? When you are not mentioned at all in the Constitution, at all, the sector of tourism is not mentioned totally. And uh, I know you, you know how... how you want it to be mentioned in which way? Uh, I mean, the, the tourism, or uh, as uh, not a part of economy, it's the whole economy, should be at least one, one chapter, not one chapter, one line. Saying what? Saying that... Uh, uh, to control for tourism, at least one word to control the speeches in, uh, in the television. I mean, that should be a power somehow. I don't, I'm not very technical in, uh, in law, but uh, somehow that every day we are hearing uh, declar the declaration and, sp uh, and speeches about uh, a permits should be uh, broken down, uh, uh, cover all statues. Uh, all this give the impression not for the, the, the markets up, uh, abroad, no, I'm talking about the Egyptians themselves. I mean, the people are working and touching, and uh, they are direct connected to the tourism field. They are having the impression, they know in future, tourism will be down and down and down, and the curve will be down. I am not uh, underestimating what Mr. Zazo is doing. He is doing a lot of efforts, I know, I'm following. He is doing really a lot of efforts, but he, he shouldn't work alone, or he cannot work alone. Mm -hmm. uh, if we are comparing, uh, about you, you said in, uh, in uh, the introduction that Mr. Zazua declared that uh, the, the, uh, it was like 9.3 billion uh, Dollar. US dollars for uh, 20, till November, he said, actually, not, not till the end, not mm -hmm. the 31st of December till the end of the year, no, till only November, mm -hmm. this, this is, yes, this happened. 
this this is sure I know that uh, it, uh, it's correct but I'm not comparing between 2012 and 2011 hmm. I should compare when I have planned I should compare between 2012 and 2010 2011 2010, I think it was the best year it's of not the about the, the peak year it's not the peak year as as it was the normal year after the crisis of the 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 financial crisis uh, in in 20 and 2008 mm -hmm. Uh, the end of 2008 affected to uh, 2009 and then uh, 2010 starts to be up again mm -hmm. so uh, it's not the best this is the normal I mean this is the the, the situation but why what it was the best because it was uh, a, lot, a lot of room power under construction it was already added after 2008 mm. so the number and all the the results was better than before because it, the, 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 the room power in Egypt was less than in 2011, I mean in 2010 and until now of course, but in 2010, but before in 2005 it was the best too, but the room power was less, mm -hmm. but we are comparing what to what, we're comparing the, wha how many room, t uh, room power in Egypt, I mean I want to tell you one, uh, uh, our, uh, our, our recovered the situation for room power in Egypt we have 240,000 room power in Egypt. All Egypt, cruises, uh, Cairo, uh, all city hotels, resorts, everywhere. And 250,000 under construction now. Mm. Okay? And we are gaining in a normal time without any crisis, without any uh, uh, situations like we are, uh, we ha we're, we're having for, uh, since 25th of January 11. Uh, let's say all together like uh, when we achieved this it will be room power when we finish the under construction half million room power and then you see the Spain has three million room power three million room hmm. in Spain so you still need I mean that we are now we don't see the, that the tourism in Egypt is uh, being affected by the words of, uh, of uh, the people working in tourism that is affected by the regime itself. When the president always come to the television and his speeches, he's proud of the income of tourism. And the prime minister is proud of the income of tourism. And they are not controlling and supporting and enhancing the tourism like they should give some rules no one you need to actions and not words of course uh, they, they, uh, wh what we have since 20, uh, 25th of January words okay so I want to focus on uh, the current period or on t the end of 2012 and the political events that were taking place how did it affect tourism in uh, in Egypt um, I know that some reports have uh, like they said that the um, following the presidential constitutional declaration the tourism was negatively affected mm -hmm. this for example the constitutional declaration was a reason other political events how did they affect the flow of tourism in Egypt how uh, the declaration itself or the constitution itself will never affect since you have a quiet street. Mm. People doesn't understand the constitution. I mean, here or abroad, or they, nobody understands what the constitution is about. It needs a specialist to say yes or no. All right? Mm. So but the events following the constitutional declaration, the I mean, people that say that yes, that's people what I say mean. no. That's what I mean. The temperature of the streets in Egypt is reflecting the demand uh, tourism in Egypt. Mm -hmm. uh, if we are looking for a better situation in Egypt for in, in tourism or to reset the, 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 the tourism situation back again to its value, we should work in the whole country situation. This is the formula. The interaction of all the events in the street reflecting the personality of the country abroad this is the face of Egypt so this means that the tourism was seriously affected of course this we and will be affected too mm -hmm. 
when I mean <coughs> this is the first time in all over the world and all all over the history that we hear that no in the street for the objective and yes come to the street to say yes for the power once no it's no we have to listen to no and what no was well, wants to have and I have to be flexible because I'm the power I'm, I'm, I'm here the father I'm here the guide I'm here the the, the leader but to send people on the street to say yes, of course it will be like fight, like a war, like uh, battles in the street. And people are asking to each other how the president or how the prime minister are saying that the everything is stable, that the tourism uh, proud of the tourism as you just mentioned, and they are asking how come. Like I think that political events are badly affecting the tourism sector, and they said that they are quite proud with the tourism sector here in Egypt. Yeah. This is politi the political speech. Yeah. I just want to know the reality from you. <laughs> the reality that uh, tourism is affected and... Uh, it is uh, not recovering. Of course. Because they asked you this in the beginning. No, Away from not. the minister. I don't want to talk about the minister or the minister or any. We are not evaluating uh, the ministers or the work. But yes. so far you don't see that it is recovering. Recently mm. there was some decisions like, for example, uh, making some direct charter flights, for example, between Egypt and Turkey, uh, I mean Sharm Sheikh and Hurghada. Uh, how do you see can this help if we are going to um, promote tourism between Egypt and Turkey, maybe it can help, or between some other destinations? Can this help? No, it cannot help. Why? Because some people, <sighs> experts, some Wh other experts, they believe that it, can, it might help. Uh, how, how do you see it? I will tell you. The problem that we are missing a bridge between here in Europe and Turkey or the problem that I want the demand to be more and more to come to Egypt. I mean, if we are working, we're working with tour operators in, uh, in Europe, in the master markets, Germany, Italia, uh, I would say Italia, they say in their Some country. Some of the Italian. major markets that okay. we depend upon. Uh, the Scandinavians, the, the British, all these other major markets. And we have the charter between us and them, direct to Sharm el-Sheikh, direct to Hurghada, and to Cairo sometimes. The point, when you are having this charter, we are reducing the seats, I mean, the, the flights, mm -hmm. we're reducing it because the demand is not that much. What's the difference now that I increase between Turkey one line extra? You're talking about reducing prices as well. Now I'm talking reducing seats. Reducing there seats. is no, no, no demand to Egypt. Okay? Reducing prices happened, of course. Yes, because yes. again, some people... Uh, uh, but, they but, but reducing prices, this, this I, will, I, will, I will tell you how, it, how is that. Beca it, it is a very technical point. I have, uh, let's say, the tour operator has uh, a big charter flight, like not a big, medium, like 220 seats, let's say. Okay? I'm selling this since April for October. This flight will depart from its uh, airport in October. Okay? So it's sold with the normal rate until the last 10 seats. Will never been sold. But it's okay, it's already commitment. So it should be sold to be flight only or to be like a, a cheap package. But in the end, what you hear that this is a cheap package. No, it's not a cheap package. See the average of the, uh, the that's why we, we are receiving the last information. The last 10 seats, that's what we understand. But we are not, uh, you are not monitoring what's happening from April until now, how much has so, uh, uh, it was sold as a package for the 90 seats or the 190 seats. This is something else. This is the, this is the, the, the marketing uh, plan for uh, the business and no one in Egypt no investor in Egypt and no minister and no one wants to sell, to sell cheap hmm. he's selling cheap why because he has hotels we have investment we have people are working employment the employment s situation in Egypt you know that the, the tourism is taking like 15% direct uh, in, in the tourism field over than 70 industrial materials from the water, uh, the food, the uh, marble, uh, uh, wood, Millions everything. are affected. Yes. And uh, Egypt is, uh, 
uh, and, and for the, the foreign currency as well, the foreign exchange, uh, the tourism is, uh, is uh, taken for like 20% of the foreign currency. And now we are suffering of, uh, of the, the dollar situation in the Egyptian pound. Hmm. Okay, I want you. I want to to add one else. One uh, th one thing else. The postal uh, authority in Egypt in Horgada. I was I would say about Horgada. This is what I inspected for the last time, uh, or just recently. Seventy million Egyptian pound transferred by the post, the post office, from Horgada to their to their families and the the valley and the delta. Hmm. Okay, in all Egypt, postal. Authority recorded 300 million pound transfer, and for a year it's like 3.6 billion mm. transfer. This I'm talking about the local or the internal transactions. Let's see how it will be the records between uh, abroad and here and the direct. The, 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 the Mr. Azuz, uh, Mr. Zazu was talking about only the, the how much we are gaining. No, there is inside internally, we are affected with a lot of sectors. The 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 president, the uh, the Ministry of Tourism, the, the Prime Minister. First, they have to stop all the speeches about what's uh, unlawful, haram, what's uh, lawful, what's halal. And the television, we are not individual opinions uh, that every now and then we have. This uh, when I woke up in the morning, I can do whatever. In the, in, the, in the middle of the street, I can put uh, a wooden station and I put something on, and I, I'm here. I'm owning this area. I mean, this is not a situation in uh, advanced country like Egypt. Mm. Of course, uh, you know Egypt d deserved that the the president of Egypt can be the president of the world. You are acting the most ancient country in all over the world. You have the human history. Hmm. We okay. should be proud. So I wanted to focus on the laws. Do we need any laws in order to revive tourism here in Egypt? Uh, the tourism is a very complicated sector to, to say. I want to have uh, a specified law. Uh, we, we, we should find that the all laws are coming for the again the interaction for all Egypt because we are the the formula of Egypt in the end mm. I mean people in tourism even the the, the past boy who was uh, uh, in uh, uh, is arranging for you or uh, serving you with uh, with a cup of uh, of tea this one is the formula of the country his his smell his appearance his it's the formula of the country he should be first uh, founded in uh, in a correct way, I, I cannot find a, I find a law, a, a specified law, for the the tourism. The tourism is the interaction for all uh, the, the the formula of all so the. So I cannot say that we can have a law or legislations for the tourism. I know that the tourism I industry basic. Th yes, it. because this is the only industry that depends upon other industries and other ministries i mean they have the other ministries have to have to offer stability for this mm -hmm. industry have to offer uh, facilities to this sector so as to, to work so from your own point of view what do we need from the, the, the people in charge i mean for example i'm thinking just for myself what if president morsi visited charlotte uh, I don't think that he will Nothing? visit Nothing? Sure. Because maybe think. the point is that some people are afraid or scared because now Islam is dominating everything. Yes. And they are scared from this when it comes to um, recreational tourism, beaches yes. and all of yes. that. So if they visit it and if they put these places on their agenda or on their own plans, so this will prove that they are supporting this sector of tourism. Actually, uh, thank you very much for the question. I mean, uh, there is a lot of points I forgot, but now you remind me, our <laughs> it comes up. Uh, I want to say that I don't think that President Morsi or the Prime Minister will visit uh, Sharm Sheikh or Hoga. Thank you very much. Why? I'll tell you why. Uh, it was shown and proved. Pre the Prime Minister went to Sharm Sheikh because he has something to do at Taba or, to, or he wants to, to go to Taba. He never 
stopped in Sharm el-Sheikh. He just take the car from the ring road. Maybe because he has to go over there. Let's be optimistic. I mean, what's uh, the reason? At least to relax after the, the, the flight, yeah, and to have a coffee anywhere, or to see where this is my country. I'm he responsible want here. Coffee. I want to see what's happening here. I want to see the streets. I want to see Nama Bay. Yeah, if you go to Nama Bay now, it's, uh, it's not Nama Bay, what you used to see, OK? So he has to be at least jealous of his country and proud that he has these results and these magic areas. And he has to go there and to see. I'll be, I'll be curious if I'm prime, uh, the prime minister of, uh, of this country and I'm passing by a very sensitive area, which is, uh, for me, uh, helping me in the economy, what I'm responsible for and uh, to, to push. At least, I'll be curious to see how these... To inspect things over there. Uh, to inspect is very deep. I, I want from him just to have a look to give an eye on. Uh, so I don't think that they will visit us first. If they did, would it help? Of course. It gave the... Because in the beginning, it told gave me, me no, the, it's not going to help. It gave everyone here and abroad the intention of the... It will cost nothing. Religion. I mean, this visit will... It will cost nothing but it will give the impression and the intention. It would motivate and yes. accelerate At the least, I, w I don't want them to go. I, I will tell you one thing. Uh, we need one more project in, uh, uh, one more pro project in, uh, in Egypt, okay? To say that he is taking care of this. I mean, to add value of the tourism, to add the value of tourism in Egypt. Yeah, I was going to ask about this issue in specific. What, what do you think the government should, uh, the effort should it exert Yes. to revive tourism sector here in Egypt. Okay, I will tell you. I will not go deep to, to, to Horgan Shamshah and exists. Let's talk about the North Coast. What the, the North, north Coast? North coast? Hmm. What, what the North Coast is uh, uh, having there? Just marina and some uh, new hotels will never work? How the people are marketing their, uh, their projects? When I market this, I go to Al Alamein Cemetery, and the, I, I know that princes and uh, all govern, governments, they are coming in a day, which is their people are lying down, okay? And we have not one cemetery, we have thousands, okay? If I market this, and then I take the, the, the medical part in the, the southwest, uh, west south, in El, uh, the oasis, the Wahat, there, to make a line, and I start to announce with one person was suffering, one person was suffering in Holland from Hitler. Now it's a place to visit. This is now a destination. One person was suffering in uh, Anna. Mm -hmm. it's, it's one place, a house. Mm -hmm. You have everything in this country. Just to make project and to say that uh, the North Coast will be, you know, you are better and warmer than Europe. If you're going to take us to the North Coast, because still you will make me, because I have a lot of questions about the North Coast. Yes. Maybe you can continue later because time is running up. So um, we, will, we will meet again to talk about yes, this I'll area in particular. Mr. Well Sharp, thank you very much for thank joining you much us. For and I wish you all the thank best. You. Thank you so much. Thank and you. right now, let's move on to check out together more about the year 2012. And we'll be back to resume the breakfast show.